Sir, my contribution to this motion is focused on the resolution of disputes between sports authorities and athletes. I speak with reference to one of my residents, SEA Games silver medalist So Ryong, and his non-selection for the upcoming Asian Games in October. Right off the bat, it is important to recognize that there are certain obligations involved when an athlete competes under the national flag. There are rules to follow. However, as they are highly competitive individuals, it is not unusual to find that sports attracts its fair share of the strong-minded and the strong-willed. In fact, this element of their character is sometimes the X factor that also pushes them to surpass their opponents. To this end, I wish to speak about the Singapore National Olympic Council, SNOC's non-selection of long-distance runner So Ruyong for the upcoming Asian Games. Ruyong is the national record holder for the 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters, half marathon, and marathon events. My last substantive communication with him was to congratulate him on his performance at the recently concluded SEA Games. Not only did he win silver for the 10,000 meters, he earned plaudits in Singapore and the region for a spontaneous display of sportsmanship passing his own cup of water to his Indonesian opponent, whom he was neck to neck with, when the Indonesian dropped his water bottle. Prior to the last SEA Games, Ryong was left out of the SEA Games by the SNOC in 2019 and 2022 for disciplinary reasons, when he was at the prime of his athletic life. He had previously won the gold medal for Singapore in the marathon at the SEA Games, both in 2015 and 2017. His latest non-selection will seriously curtail his ability to run and medal for Singapore ever again. Unlike fixed-term suspensions for violent conduct or criminal offences, SNOC's blanket non-selection forces his sporting career into limbo for an unknown period. <laughs> From publicly available information, the latest non-selection for the Asian Games is a result of public comments he made online. 36 pages of documents allegedly leaked to the Straits Times details, posts and comments that SNOC took issue with. Indeed, SNOC has a track record, a track record of forgiving athletes that have fallen short of being examples for our sporting youth and allowed them to compete for Singapore. For example, a SILAT exponent was allowed to represent Singapore at the last SEA Games despite a drink driving conviction in 2022. A swimmer who had won a silver medal at the last SEA Games had previously been disciplined for consuming controlled drugs and had his prestigious SPEC scholarship suspended for one month. Both these athletes were involved in criminal offences. So Ruyong has not been. So why is SNOC's attitude towards Ruyong different? Uh, regarding the, the, our SILAT and uh, ISILAT athletes and swimmers, um, and uh, I just want to clarify that uh, if he knows that these are not, um, that for the SILAT athlete, uh, if he's aware that this, that the, the drunk driving incident actually happened on the 27th of November 2022, and the CLAT competition at the Southeast Asian Games actually happened on the 18th of May 2023. Um, so that falls outside the code of conduct and the athletes' agreement. Um, the second is on the swimmers. Um, I think we've clarified this in the House before, that the swimmers, they admitted to, to um, consumption of marijuana. There was no presence of marijuana there was no criminal um, act or proceedings or infringements here. So I just wanted to clarify that um, and ask if he's aware of that as well. And also SNOC took, um, called the DC for the swimmers. They were sanctioned, they paid a fine, and um, this was all done before the selection of the Southeast Asian Games. Uh, while I note the points he's making, uh, they don't detract from the larger point vis-a-vis -vis those uh, two, two issues which I raised, which was SNOC has a track record of looking and displaying a forgiving attitude towards athletes who may have committed transgressions. I think that's the key point uh, which uh, I hope SNOC can also take into account uh, and the ministry also can take into account for other athletes who may have fallen short. Um, but I do, I do want to say that um, these athletes have have had their disciplinary committees, they've already served their penalties, they've paid their fines, they were sorry, and, uh, they, and we've all moved on. So SNOC does have that track record of that. Um, I would like to also state that for the case of So Ryong, um, appeals committee was convened, um, a special committee or hearing was actually had for So Ryong. He seemed very sorry for what he had done, 
there was also a commitment from him um, uh, to, and I mean, I'm not going to go into the details of the commitment, but with respect to the commitment, uh, he's also saying that he would not, he said that he would not make disparaging comments uh, and he'll abide by the code of conduct and he'll sorry. Um, he went to the Southeast Asian Games, well and good, right? So he did participate in Southeast Asian Games. Where he, when he came back, he did a podcast and he made disparaging comments, not only about SNOC, but about his teammate as well. So that was the result of his non-selection at the Asian Games in 2023. Uh, so Ryong is my resident, so I'm appealing also as uh, his member of parliament. And if he can uh, be allowed, if S SNOC can take another look at him, uh, I'm not out of order, I believe, to, to raise this matter. And, and I hope, uh, given that uh, the matter actually goes far beyond, uh, in the eyes of many, just uh, to be an issue of transgressions, I hope uh, more members, uh, senior members of our sporting fraternity can come in and try to uh, lower temperatures so that uh, athletes like So Ruyong can participate and fly the flag uh, proudly. Mr. So can continue to represent Singapore at the Singapore Athletics Meets. On the non-section of the Asian Games, SNOC has given Mr. So a second chance to compete at the SEA Games in Cambodia after the Appeals Committee considered Singapore Athletics nomination for Mr. So. The Appeals Committee was satisfied and sent Mr. So to the 2023 SEA Games. Mr. So signed the letter of undertaking and in spite of that, he made disparaging comments on social media after the SEA Games. Just to confirm the, the, the point, I mean, I think he put a question out um, as to uh, whether uh, Ryong is, has been disparaging and so forth. I've, I've not made the point in my speech that discipline and all these other important things in sports are not important, but I would like to ask the member, I mean, does he advocate a sort of a system where it's two strikes and you're out? I mean, the episode can be resolved in other ways, and I've made my point why I think it could be resolved in other ways. Would he join me in advocating for more dispute resolution mechanisms that can build bridges and, in his words, unite rather than divide? Uh, Ryong enjoys and is a flag bearer for Singapore, and I think we can consider how best to rehabilitate him and keep working on ensuring that we come together as a nation with a view to sporting excellence. Again, I think sports is a continuing journey. Uh, I don't speak on behalf of the Singapore National Olympic Committee, but you know, I think um, the door is not closed. Uh, but again, these are decisions made by the SNOC and not my, myself. But I think if uh, Rayong is truly sorry and he really wants to move forward and wants to be a great ambassador for sports, the door is probably not closed.